Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another Ableton Live video tutorial. This is going to be a kind of quick tip, and it's about how to go from your studio setup inside of Ableton Live to your uh, your performance setup. And there's just a, something that's very important to me, at least. Um, when I'm using my uh, Ableton for the studio, I have my sample rate set to 4800 and that's what my synth's putting out and that's how I'm recording it. And I, uh, I also have my pitch conversion uh, at uh, high quality, so if I'm working with loops and stuff like that um, and I'm chopping them up and uh, warping them out, uh, I get the best quality that I can. But when it's time for performance and I'm going to be using a professionally mastered track like this one right here, as you can see it is so titled. Um, when I play this track, you'll see that even though it is not um, redlining, it shouldn't be redlining, it is um, compressed right to where it should be, um, I'm going to come over and I'm going to get some redline here and you'll see that the master gets red. So let's listen. Hey. Hey. So as you know, uh, red is bad. Um, and I could fix this um, the way I had been fixing it for a long time was I'd just come into my master and I'd put on a uh, limiter there and I'd compress it. But that actually kind of, on a professionally mastered track, that kind of makes the audio uh, not sound as good. Um, so the way to fix that, and I found this out on Reddit actually, is you come in to preferences and the reason why this is redlining is because it's, First, it had to decompress the MP3 file, and then it's going to be trying to uh, use this sample right here at 4800. And as hopefully you all know, uh, the industry standard for a uh, master output is not 4800, it is 441. So simply by changing the sample right here and telling Ableton to look at this file as um, a 44.1 instead of a 48, watch what happens here. Hey. Hey. You can see now that I'm not redlining anymore. It is exactly where it should be. So um, that's huge. So when you're going from the, you know, you're on your laptop and you're using it for performance, I do recommend you sample at 4,800, but I'm mean 48,000. But when you go to, you do your live performance, just make sure you go into that preferences and switch it. That way you don't have to uh, pull down the, the volume or put a compressor on the end. I mean, you should put a compressor on the end anyway, just in case you're mixing tracks and blah, blah, blah. But uh, that's the reason why uh, you might be having that red line experience um, when you shouldn't be, or you don't know why. So uh, if you followed my tutorial before, I, you know, I'm setting this up, I said to put it on 4800, but that's for production. So you definitely want to bring that down to 44.1 when you're doing your live show. But anyway, um, I hope that helps, and we will see you next time.